Will an umbrella insurance policy protect your IRA from bankruptcy? All right. So I did a video earlier today where I talked about the seven states that don't protect your Roth IRA from bankruptcy. And, uh, and some of the states, California comes to mind, uh, give minimal protection to your IRA as well. Um, and I was like, hmm, I just thought, I was thinking out loud, I said, I wonder if an umbrella would give you some, uh, some extra protection, especially in those states, given that there is no state protection necessarily in these states. And uh, I've read some articles, and I, and I just don't know the answer to this. It seems like, it, 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 yes, uh, there can be some umbrella policy that gives some protection, but I don't know for sure. I'm certainly not an attorney, and I don't practice this kind of, uh, you know, in terms of bankruptcy law and whatnot. You definitely want to talk to an attorney. But and let me just explain what an umbrella is. So an umbrella policy, what it does is it gives you an extra level of uh, a protection against liability, against lawsuits, essentially, if you're ever sued. All right. So it, what happens is when I was at USA, which is a big property and casualty insurance company, i.e. homeowners and auto, uh, an umbrella policy, that's where USA started. We'd say we want you to have a home, your homeowners and auto, your auto insurance to cover $100,000 for property damage limits. 300,000 for per person bodily injury and 500,000 per accident. All right. So we'd say one, three, and five, essentially. That would what you'd have on your auto insurance. And that'd give you the threshold, basically $500,000 of personal protection. Now, let's say you had a million dollar IRA in a 500 or a million dollar brokerage account. We'll start with that. A million dollar brokerage account in a $500,000 home. We'd say you should get an umbrella policy to the extent of your net worth. So you'd get an umbrella policy for how much? A million bucks. Why would you not get it for a 1.5 million? Well, because you already have 500,000 through your homeowners and auto insurance. Got a mosquito bug. So we'd say get a million dollar umbrella, probably cost you 300, 350 bucks a year. They'll, they'll protect your million dollar brokerage and your home if you're ever sued. Now, every state has homestead exemptions, all that. But generally speaking, we say you need to get an umbrella policy to the extent of your net worth. All right. Now, the question that came to my mind today is like, well, IRAs are excluded from bankruptcies in federal courts. We know that. And most states exclude IRAs, including Roth IRAs, uh, from bankruptcy and, uh, and state courts as well. So they're not subject to, lot, to creditors inherently in bankruptcy. Now, that does not mean, though, there's not subject to if you found guilty, like a, a liable of a sexual, like I was reading just right now, sexual harassment. Um, you know, you hit a, a freaking school bus or something like that that you, the state can do whatever they want to do. They can certainly say, hey, if you are found liable for some bad, bad behavior, we're going to attack your IRA. And that's what an umbrella can do is say, hey, we're going to defend you. We're going to defend you to protect your assets. So basically the insurance company is on the hook for this million dollar umbrella coverage, all right? Now, obviously, if you engage in risky activity, they're not going to insure you. So like, for instance, I got this pool, all right? That's my pool right there. I also got some dogs and I got teenage boys all right, so, you know, teenage boys have people over and whatnot, and I got dogs, and who knows if I own handguns and rifles and stuff? Who knows? They all, I lost them in the lake. But, Josh, you don't live on a lake. I know. It's kind of weird how that works. But anyway, and, you know, USA knows this. But at the end of the day, the companies say, you are more liable to us than, you know, freaking uh, Andy Griffith. You know what I'm saying? Because they're saying, dude, you're just, you got kids, you got dogs, you got a pool, you got, maybe you have some firearms. And as such, you're more liable. Now, again, we have an umbrella policy here. It's not very expensive. Like I said, I think it's 350 bucks for a million dollar umbrella. All right, so we know if I got sued, let's say my wife is driving down the street, you know, she's uh, texting me saying how handsome I am and how she can't wait to get frisky with me. And she runs a stop sign and she hits, uh, you know, Granny Smith in her wheelchair across the street. Um, you know, they're going to sue us, no doubt. The insurance company, they're going to sue us. Uh, for negligence um, and whatnot, and uh, and they'll most likely win. But because we have an umbrella, they can't sue for what we can't. You know, you can't make water come from a rock. So they're only going to sue for what they can get, which in this case would be our net worth. Again, that's negligence. Just because I, I mean, you'd have to look at your own state on that. But so that's how that works. So we have an umbrella just to protect all this right here. Knowing full well it costs us three hundred fifty bucks a year to have the extra million dollar protection. So that way, if we ever got sued then we know that USA would, would essentially defend us and pay out the first, you know, 1.5 million, 500,000 for auto insurance, a million dollar for umbrella. All right. So that, that's, you know, so umbrella gives you protection against uh, uh, bad, bad behavior. People from people are out to get you. Let's just put it that way. So the question is, does it do that same for bankruptcy? And the answer is I, you know, right here. 
For example, this is from Investopedia, a great article, by the way. For example, California is a precarious state in which to own a retirement account if you're being sued or filing for bankruptcy. In California, IRAs are not well protected as 401ks. And what this means in practice is that if you're being sued for personal injury in California, your 401k will be protected from the prosecutor. However, your IRA will only be protected up to the point that the courts deem necessary. All right. It is important to take notice that some states have limited or no laws protecting IRA savings in case of lawsuits. Uh, some other states, Texas, Virginia, and Arizona, three states I've lived in, all of them. I live in Texas, Virginia, and Arizona because I am cool and everybody else is a fool. Uh, they do provide pretty big protection. In Arizona, only IRA contributions made within 120 days of the lawsuit are exposed to risk. Although their established distinction between states is crucial to understand that the law is never clear cut. There may not be a straight answer for your outcome of your lawsuit subject to the type of account, Roth IRA, traditional, and local jurisdiction. For example, you may have greater protection of funds inside your IRA as opposed to those outside, even if they consist of dist distributions from the account. And uh, right here, uh, this guy asserted some Moran, Moran Noble uh, offers a comprehensive state-by-state -state laws list of laws protecting IRAs and provides an analysis of individual retirement. Oh, that's fantastic. So I'm not going to read this here. That's good. I'll put the link to this Investopedia in this. That's fantastic. To those with assets tied to retirement plans and IRAs, acquiring an umbrella insurance policy uh, may help shield the possibility of a creditor dipping into retirement accounts. Personal umbrella insurance can be added on top of your pre-existing homeowners and auto insurance and will, and will cover the excess costs and the extent of a catastrophe. Right here. Um, and it, this is what I've always found interesting about umbrellas, actually. An attractive feature of an umbrella insurance policy is that the insurance company is, per, is required to provide you legal defense on top of the coverage you already receive. Yep. It's important to know that it does not cover business activity, intentional acts such as sexual harassment or punitive damages. Um, I one oh right here. If you're required to pay out a claim, the umbrella will come into play when your standard liability insurance runs out. I, so when I was working at USA, USA is a very you know nice you know good people at that company for sure. Um, I was dealing. We were getting sued a couple times. I can't remember, but I had to deal with our attorneys that were defending the organization, the association from scumbag lawsuits. And these guys are freaking you know pipe hitting freaking tough. <laughs> knuckle draggers did our, our attorneys were freaking hardcore like i was like man i, I would not want to be see you in an alley because they're just like they don't play so i remember as we're being sued i can't remember what it was i had to go back and forth between one of the attorneys and he was just he was like like f them f this you would get out i was like damn dude I, you know this is the usa and i was like geez these guys weren't playing so the issue is that if what they're doing is they're paid to defend usa's assets and i'm just using usa for this example or progressives assets or whoever you got because they're the ones gonna have to pay out usa signed the umbrella insurance policy they said we'll cover you if you're sued and we're gonna put our knuckle dragon pipe hitting people in there to protect our assets from the lawsuit and i was like well that's kind of cool so you don't have to worry about that they take care of that which is actually it's, it's worth its weight in gold when you think about the headache of getting an attorney and have to go through all you're like Ugh, the cost your umbrella policy covers all that. So I can't guarantee if an umbrella policy covers against IRAs. I just don't know. But it's certainly worth looking to get an umbrella policy for sure. All right. Love to hear your thoughts. If you have more knowledge on this, put in the comments. Again, I, you know, while I had PNC licenses when I was at USA, this, this is not my area of expertise by any stretch of the imagination. So if you have comments or you know something about this, put it in the doobie-doo. All right. God bless. We'll see you.